This is Jason Record with SUSE Linux. Um, I am in the on the S, the SUSE Linux escalation team, and uh, in support. And I'm going to be talking about um, registering and renewal of a server's software subscription. Uh, when we in support, when we get a support config, we look at the status of the server's registration, because obviously um, entitlement to support on the server is based on its subscription status. And so we want to kind of talk about how you know that uh, the server is um, registered and that it's not expired. So this is a very basic video and um, we'll look at a few ways on how to see that the server is registered. So first off, we'll open up a console and We'll see how to do this in a support config. I have several support configs here. And um, let, we're going to go to um, the first one we're going to look at is this SLUS 15 SB3 base. This server is not registered. And as we look, we have several files here. The information about registration is in, uh, is in the updates file. Let's open up the updates file. And some of the things that we look at in support, um, first is the services that are available, and then the repositories. Um, you'll notice in this particular repository, this server was installed from um, DVD installation media. So the only repositories available are on the CD. You'll use barely to see part of this CD here. And so the location of these repositories is only on a CD. There is no remote um, internet locations to tell us that this is registered. Um, also, if it's not registered, there will be no patches or updates available. And then if, you, if we then search for status, the SUSE Connect status, tells us which products are installed and the registration status. So you'll notice here that uh, each of these versions is installed and it's listed as not registered. None of them are registered. We also look at the credentials. So if you come down, um, if we move up a little bit, you'll see that um, some of the credentials that for um, the registration will be included here and in other files listed but you'll see that there are none. This combined, all this information combined tells us that this server is not registered and technically is unsupported. And so you wanna make sure you get it registered and we'll talk about how to do that shortly. Now let's compare that with a server that has been registered and the SLES 15 SP3 has been updated. We will look at the updates.txt file. Now here we'll see, we'll come down to the repositories and you'll notice that you will, you will have um, CDs in there like we have here. This is where the installation media is at, but then we have um, a URL to updates.susa. So this is registered through um, the SUSE customer center and is registered for updates. And so uh, there's the URLs that show that. And then as you go, we'll go to the SUSE Connect status. You'll notice here that again, it's registered and um, each of the modules, and it's a little bit hard to read with this output, but um, you'll notice that um, SLES is registered and it, has the registration code and the when it was um, registered and when it expires. So this one expires in 2023, of January 22nd of 2023. So this tells you when you might you're going to need to renew your software subscription. And then you'll notice here are the credential files that would list various credentials. So all this together tells that this server is registered. You'll see a little bit of differences with servers that are registered with SUMA or SMT in various ways, but generally they'll have several of these elements included. Um, and, and if all else fails, just 
double check with your uh, your um, SUSE manager um, admin um, or the customer. Okay. Now, um, that's how you tell from the support config. We're going to go ahead and open up a report. So first thing we're going to look at is the SLES 15. This is the support config analysis report that was generated by the SCA tool that analyzes support configs. This is the first report that um, SUSE support sees when you submit an issue. So the first thing you see is that this information about the server, if we click on this basic help, we'll, we get the message that the system's not registered and is unsupported. Here's information. You can go to this um, the SUSE customer center and you can log in where you can manage your subscriptions. But you can also just click on this registration link here and this will take you to the support page we saw earlier. And as you scroll down, you will see that you can choose a product, the type of support you want, um, depending on your needs. Generally speaking, um, testing servers and non-critical servers, uh, standard support is usually sufficient. Your, your priority service contract is generally reserved uh, for system production systems that need uh, attention right away. And um, so that's how we kind of tell if the system's registered or not. And we'll close out those. And I'm going to open up what it looks like when it is updated. So we'll go to the support config analysis report of a server that is patched and ready. And here we'll just be, go down into the basic health. And you'll see here that the system is registered through the SUSE customer center. And these are the modules that are registered with it, SLES and these other modules. Um, and you'll, the information about its expiration is included in this particular report. So SLES 15 SB3 expires January 22nd of 2023. If it was expiring or it would be, or has expired, it would move up into the critical and you could click renew. Or you could go to the, again, the SUSE customer center to manage your subscriptions. And here you can simply buy online, find a partner or other ways to register the server. Now, if you didn't, weren't running a support config and you wanted to just um, see what the registration status is from the server itself, you can run the command SUSE, SUSE connect status text. This command will query the server and find out its current registration status and display it uh, in a readable format. And each of the individual modules is based off of the SLES subscription, so they're registered and don't need a separate registration code. Other products that do need a separate registration code would be listed here with their individual registration codes. Um, and you'll notice that the expiration date and its current status is shown uh, in the output. Now, if you just did a SUSE Connect status, that's what the support config runs, and it's in kind of a uh, format that's more for programming. So that's it about registration. Thank you.